Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this video we're gonna be making an easy $100,000 by winning the new time trial Rockstar just released. If you wanna see that, stay tuned! First thing I wanna show you the location of the time trial. It's right next to the airport, right over here. Second thing I wanna say is that you can use either a bike or a car to do this time trial. Now, there are no restrictions on the car or bike you can use, except that you can't use the Deluxo, which is something that I found out right about here. So I decided to do the next best thing and get the tracks. And one thing that's gonna be probably very useful to you is that you need to mark your endpoint so that your GPS shows you the exact route you need to take. And it's something that I did right here. But that's not a big deal. If you mess up at any point during the race, you can just hold the triangle button or for Xbox users, the Y button, and you're gonna reset at your starting location. As I was going back to the start location, I decided to put an extra step of difficulty to challenge myself. If I don't complete the challenge using the car that I'm currently driving, I need to switch it, which means that if I mess up the challenge one time, I need to change the car or motorcycle that I'm currently using entirely and never use that again. And if you're not interested in seeing all the different cars that I went through and just want to see the tutorial on how to actually beat the challenge, I'm going to put a timestamp right here that you can follow to go to the educational part of the video. But on the other hand, if you're here to have fun, let's get started. And for the sake of saving a little bit of time, this is my lap with the tracks. As you can see, I was so, so close to doing it, but ultimately I came short, so I had to change the car. Next, I made the attempt with the PR4, and as you can see, I came aggravatingly close to doing the challenge successfully. I was literally a second off. But hey, that's what you do when you crash a lot, and I did crash a couple of times, both this run and the previous one. Next one up was the Pariah, and with it, at some point, I just fizzled out. I don't know why, I was too far away from the finish line, and I just realized yeah, that's not happening. So I started crashing into things and ultimately I flipped the card on its roof. And last but not least, the Shitaro. And this is the one that I actually did properly. And hey, if anybody actually clicked on the timestamp in the beginning of the video, welcome back! Since I didn't show this part in the first couple of runs, I'll make sure to explain everything. You need to make sure that you go here against the traffic, so you save a little bit of time. And after you get to the freeway, make sure you go again against the traffic over here in the left sleeve so you can save even more time. From all the tries that I did, I believe that this is the fastest route. And since you're on the bike, make sure you keep the left stick pressed up so your guy can gain more and more speed. Make sure you go against the traffic here as well to save a little bit of time on the corner. And of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, make sure you don't bump into things and don't crash. But if you do, don't worry, just hold the triangle button or for Xbox users, hold the Y button and you're gonna respawn at the start of the race. To give you some sort of an idea of how I did this, I had the accelerator pressed all the way down probably about 95-96% of the entire run. But then again, I did complete the challenge about 7-8 seconds faster than the part time. So maybe you can take a more leisurely approach. Yeah, um, broken record here, make sure you don't crash, because I did crash, I believe, with the pariah here, and that completely ruined my run. Otherwise, I probably would have done it. And if you're around 25 seconds here, I'd say you have a pretty good chance of beating it. You just need to make sure that you don't crash into anything, and keep the gas pressed all the way down. And this last corner is a bit tricky because it's on the left-hand side of the finish, and there we have it. $101,000. And if you did it with me, congratulations, you're $101,000 richer. How does it feel? If you've done this challenge with me, leave your comment down below telling me what time did you get on it. I'm looking forward to your answers. And that will be marking an end to our video. Thank you so much to everybody who watched this far. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and like the video if you, well, liked the video. And with all that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and PS, the Shitaro is awesome for off-roading because it has two-wheel drive.